What the hell? We're 11 seconds in and you've just been standing there looking at your phone. Yeah, sorry. I've just been a little distracted. 20 seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, guys, I'm happy. And I hate that shit. Aha. And why am I happy and I hate it? Is it masochism? Probably, but a much more reasonable explanation is crushes. See, crushes, uh, newsflash, suck ass. And don't let my positive, cheery demeanor fool you. I am livid right now. I mean, just to give you a little perspective, I hate crushes like how anime protagonist parents hate raising their children. I hate crushes like how horror movie villains hate not killing off the blacks first. I hate crushes like how high school teenagers on Tumblr hate themselves. And like those somewhat sad teens, I can make a three page rant on why. Not on my Tumblr though, but my YouTube channel. Because that's where adults go to hate themselves. Don't you hate it when you get a notification and it's not the notification you were trying to get? What the f is wrong with you today? Uh, what? Are you doing what I think you're doing? I, no. Here, just give me the phone. You're not going to be able to focus like this. No, no, no. It's no biggie. I got it. I'm an adult. I can control my urges. Can you? Probably. See, to understand why I hate crushes, we got to start at the beginning. See, growing up, I was actually super into crushes, like to an unhealthy degree. And the way I saw it, and you know, this still rings true, there is nothing like crush energy, man. On God, crush energy gives you the vitality of like an extra large cup of coffee with three shots of espresso, and then like a generous helping of penis pills. I mean, you've probably been there, you wake up in the morning and then life seems pointless, like why even attempt to leave the bed? And then you remember that you share first period with a girl who looked at you one time. Wait, I'd be up at 7 a.m. clean as hell, tucked and fitted like I'm about to hit the Met Gala with my Walmart brand jeans. I mean, think about how powerful that is. Only the desire for love and to not send my parents to jail and to not be homeless can get me up at 5.30 a.m. every day. It's like Popeye, but instead of spinach giving you power, it's the idea that during first period I might brush shoulders with a 14 year old. But I'm 14 also, so it's okay. And it was blinding, man. Like any force that wakes me up before 9 a.m. is blinding to me, but I liked it. It was good. It was the good kind of blinding, like Ray Charles blinding. I'm not saying that the gray Charles being blind is a good thing. <laughs> like, shit, sure, it must suck to be blind, but how much less cool would this be if you weren't? And I thought it was pretty damn cool. Sure. Sure thought that. It's only been two minutes, Kurt. Two minutes on top of the other minutes that I've already been waiting. Come on now. Just keep doing the video, please. <sighs> But see, like with most things I liked growing up, school, responsibilities, growing up, they inevitably become a massive pain in my ass. Guys, I'm gonna be blunt, okay? Uh, young Kurt was a dumbass, objectively in all things, but especially with his thoughts on crushes. A giant, huge, naive, stupid, kid, child, dumb, wrong. Um, are you okay? I'm fine. See, all the things that I thought were good uh, turns out we're actually bad. The energy, the happiness, the being blind. I'm supposed to explain why these things are bad, but that last one kind of explains itself. But but still, so guys, take a walk with me as I take a massive shit on my childhood self and tell you why crush infatuation is the worst emotion ever made. Dear God. See, crushes are bad specifically because of one thing, one gross, disgusting thing that warps your mind, body, soul, and desires. And that thing is- Heroin? Close, but no, uh, infatuation the heroine of feelings. See, to put it simply, infatuation is like mental instability with, with like, like a little hat on it. Plain and simple, it's obsession. I kinda wanna wear your face obsession. Like, like the diet version. And honestly, I should be able to end the video here. It's wrong, like it's weird, it's messed up, case closed, that's it. But y'all be coming at my ass in the comments, so I'm probably gonna have to explain anyway. But just so y'all know, before I get into this, I, I think John Oliver put it best. This is gonna feel a lot like like making a list of reasons why you shouldn't like f your mom. Like sure, I could give you some. It'd probably make things weird between you and your dad. If you're like me and you're in college, it's a long drive back and my car's broken down, like the logistics of that is messy. But I feel like it's wrong should be enough to justify this, but okay, here we go anyway. So I'm gonna break this down into five distinct points why having crushes are awful. <sighs> 
uh, one. You are blindly into them. Again, the f***ing your mom example here would really be fine, but okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go anyway, that's fine. All right, so when you have a crush, your levels of care and admiration for said crush reach incredibly high levels. This person can do no wrong, they're great, they're perfect, please marry me, blah, 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 blah. you know, the, the usual. But, but think about this, all right. Why do you think all these things about someone you don't know? Like, uh, I think we're missing like 12 or so ingredients that creates a healthy relationship cake, but okay, that's fine. Just flour and eggs. That's just, like my favorite meal. It's cool. Really, though, all you know about your crush is that they make your genitals warm. And that's really the extent of the relationship. I don't think that's qualifications for wanting to marry someone. Like a thick blanket gets my genitals warm too, but you don't see me trying to f it. You know what I'm saying? With just looks and limited interaction, you're falling into what I like to call uh, the roommate trap. Basically, you think being a roommate with a friend you kind of know is a dope concept because you have this idea of what they're like in your head and that they do the dishes. And then you live with them for a month and learn, oh, this is crazy, this person's a person and they have their own little flaws and idiosyncrasies and they don't do the fucking dishes and from there you learn if you actually like them or not because this is the real them finally though i don't have to deal with that kind of problem with my roommates but they do uh, i'm sorry i'll clean the dishes more guys i'm sorry Okay, how do you turn off notifications for only certain apps? You are acting like the biggest hypocrite right now. Oh, do you think I want to feel like this? You think I want to be checking my phone every day? And it's Twitter. Why does Twitter have the same sound as a text message on my phone? I don't, I, I- Look, it's not too late to just give me the phone. You know, so we won't destroy our audience retention. Hey, yo, f the audience retention. I'm just kidding. Please stay. I desperately need the watch time. I'll figure it out. Uh, two, you're into them to an abnormally high degree. Seriously, do I need to explain why this is bad? Like, cause the f your mom. Okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. It's cool. Okay, just so everyone knows, okay? <clears throat> Sometimes liking things too much is bad. Here to really illustrate this point, let's play a little game I like to call, is this okay? Spoilers, the answer's gonna be no. So typically when I wanna talk to my crush, my brain comes up with two plans of action, right? The first plan is usually something like, just slowly get to know her, build a rapport, you know, it'll be fine. Cool, solid plan, brain, pretty sure you just described how regular talking to people works, but cool, that's fine. But you know, cause I'm about equal opportunity failure, I consider the second plan as well. Which isn't usually as sensible as the first one. My brain usually comes up with something like, what you should do is go up to her, uh -huh. talk to her, yeah, 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 and tell her you want her to have your children. Wait, what? And then that you want to marry her. Wait, why is the children thing first? And why that you think about her all the time. Brain, you brain, her, brain, you stop. Picked... So I don't know if you picked up on that, but that's kind of weird. See, think of it like this. Not only am I into this person I don't know, like we established earlier, but I'm into them like a lot. To a point where my brain thinks telling a girl I wish to impregnate her before we even had a proper conversation is, is just how the game's played, I guess. <laughs> Which is even crazier considering, like we said earlier, I barely know you. I don't know, just me personally, I feel like I should know your dreams and goals uh, before I tell you I want you to have my children, you know what I'm saying? Put on the surface level though, what are some crush thoughts? Uh, I need you in my life. I think of you first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening. I can't get you out of my head. Now, look at these for a second. I'm 80% positive some of these sentiments also are thought by uh, serial killers, people who are suffering from mental health issues, stalkers. I've uh, stalked someone. <clears throat> I feel like I should, I don't know, like work on being happy this much, but nah, it's a person I looked at one time. That's fine, we'll do that, brain. Cool. I think I'm gonna stab someone. Give me the phone. Baby, it's fine, okay? It's fine. You've been checking your phone this entire time. Come on. It's fine. I got this, all right? Anyways, moving on to the next one. Uh, you think about them the entire time. Once again, I feel like the fuck your mom analogy would be great here, but you know, it's fine. We're gonna keep going. Uh, so just for clarification, thinking about someone all the time, that's also bad. If I'm thinking about something all the time, I don't know about y'all, but usually for me, it's bad. Like money I owe, 
or college in general. Like for example, my brain is usually thinking about like what to eat and things I need to do. It's a pretty consistent stuff. And then we put my crush into the equation and pretty sure I'm going to jail now. Like I want to like read, yo, and whatnot, but my brain instead wants to read your tweets on your like, Ah, four, they make you overthink. The handling situations with your crush is like this complicated minefield of what ifs, ands, and maybes when it really shouldn't be. I mean, they're a person. I could be talking to a friend and be completely fine, but I, I talk to my crush and I don't know what to say, how to say it. I'm literally shaking. I honestly did not know you could have performance anxiety, but for your mouth. That's really the key word though anxiety and that's what crushes give you anxiety i mean if i really think about it crushes are giving me more anxiety than happiness if she's hanging out with another guy i overthink she might like them and then boom anxiety like yo, how does someone standing next to someone else who has a penis ruin my day like that's wild she doesn't like my picture on instagram within three hours boom anxiety what if she thinks i'm ugly and didn't reply because that's a reasonable thought for me we're texting and she hasn't responded to me after a while and i'm wondering if she hates me for no reason and boom anxiety baby if someone you're interested in calls you pal oh boy what is what does that mean i think you know what that means and yeah, that's it uh there's no fifth thing i i'm gonna uh, that it's over roll the roll the thing you know we can't end it like this right i think this is a fantastic ending love's dead i don't see the issue here don't you think you're acting like slightly a little b Okay, maybe slightly, but I honestly feel like that's on brand, so. But there's a whole extra section to the script that you still haven't done. I'm guessing the less pathetic part. How did you get that? Stop, no. That Kurt doesn't know what he's talking about. That Kurt doesn't know loss. First off, that's not how knowing things works. Uh. Secondly, it's not this deep, come on. Uh. Look, at least read it out, because this Kurt seems a lot less sad than this one. Huh, 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 that's sad. My name's Vibby and I think my friends are emotionally unstable. Huh. <sighs> Whatever. Fine. Huh. Which leads me to point five. You can do this all just for it to potentially not work out. But you're obsessively into this person, which sets your expectations high. Sky high. But there's no guarantee you'll be with this person. And that's probably the part I hate the most about this. This person makes you happy. The idea that makes you happy. They, they give you so much energy and it's great, despite all the bull. But it might not even work out. But the thing is that this last reason isn't really a good one. And why? Because you really don't have a choice but to deal with it. Like, that's life, G. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, what else am I supposed to do? Shut myself down to any future potential relationships? I'm shut down enough. I can't really afford to have any less human interaction. So yeah, crushes do suck. They're terrible. They're the worst thing ever. I stand by that. But you shouldn't be afraid of having them, though. You just gotta be hyper aware of how you act and understand how your brain's gonna work. It might not work out. They might not be who you think they are. They might be great. Who knows? But that's probably the beauty of it. Just gotta be able to roll with the punches and at the end of the day, just be cool with yourself. As corny as that sounds. I don't think I need the phone anymore. You know, it's cool. Still sad? Uh, yes, incredibly so. So please take the phone. Actually, yo, let me hold it like real quick. Seriously. Just real, just real quick. But just real just quick. Just give it, give it to me. I want to see it. Yeah, I know, fine. but I just wanted to see it. Oof. Um, yeah, I don't need to see the phone. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that's not gonna affect what happens in the next episode. So it is. Yes, yes, it is. What's up, y'all? So if you liked that video, which I hope you did, you might want to check out my Why Stalking Is Actually Okay video. Yeah, I know, title's back. If you want to hear about why I'm a stalker and why actually you are too, uh, that, I think that's right up your alley if you're into this. Because I, I talk on some very similar points as I did to the crushes video. This is like an elaboration on that one, this thing. <laughs> Other than that, uh, that's really about it, I think. All right, y'all. I'm out. I'll talk to you later. Peace.